hey everyone what's up uh, hey everyone what's up so welcome back to my channel and today i am going to cover general release of viva volt uh, mostly i'll discuss about the platform feature and uh, which is related to document uh, right so today i'm just um, telling some of the hottest feature uh, of 23 r3 uh, regarding uh, document so and later i'll uh, uh, also adding uh, some of the feature but today i specifically for document related uh, enhancement and uh, release I can uh, share with you hope and hopefully you already know about the feature but still who are not aware of the uh, viewable feature and is this video very helpful for them and in the comment in the description section I will share uh, the viewable link generally is link where you can you know uh, search the recording and you can uh, find the release as well right so with that note I am started so working with document so as I told today uh, mostly the document related feature uh, I have added so that I can share with you today so in platform feature uh, what uh, Viva is updated for 23 R3 one is lifecycle and workflow action for collaborative authoring and uh, you are aware that what is collaborative authoring is in the collaborative authoring where users can uh, work parallel with other users in Microsoft Office Word and second is document viewer context menu uh, improved march field and bookmark performance atomic security for EDL item action and then enhancement to updating last match date on EDLs. Send us link version binding and intelligent document update document title displayed in binder compact view and download preview for basic signature page and template. There are a couple of few features also related to document also there but I have not added this but based on my thinking that these are the feature which is I think important right so that's why I updated and you can uh, read each feature and I can share the link uh, in the description section you can uh, open the link and you can uh, read and go through the feature right so yep so I'm moving to the next i'm describing the next uh that the feature which i uh, added so briefly uh, which is uh, life cycle and workflow action for collaborative authoring so in this release uh, now admin can set up a workflow action steps and also entry action to initiate or conclude a collaborative authoring session automatically so check out to microsoft office check in the microsoft office cancel editing in microsoft office that is our all manual process so now they are enhancing viva is enhancing and they are included in the workflow action steps and entry action steps that will help user to uh, uh th these steps this manual steps uh, you know disrupt the smooth user experience between collaborative authoring and workflow so these are the good enhancement one of the good enhancements of 23 r3 that now they have added these uh, three uh, collaborative authoring feature in the workflow action steps and entry action so now I'm going to the next feature uh, that is a document viewer context menu. So the copying test and searching the glossary and creating annotation. These are the feature uh, they have added after right clicking within the document viewer. So this is one of the good feature they have added in this release. 
so I'm going to the next uh, feature which is improved march field and bookmark performance now uh, in this release uh, now 70% faster for rendering march field and bookmarks from Microsoft Word and this improved speed in processing token and bookmark are added to Word document so this is quite a good feature uh, I can say and next is atomic security for edl item action uh, so you know the uh, what is atomic security is and if you are not aware then go through the link and find the more information of the at atomic security but we are working on the clinical world they are aware that uh, ex there are expected document and who are working in the room that they are also aware that content plan item what is so now uh, now more enhanced control viva introduced through atomic security and uh, this is over a specific action within the life cycle state of EDL item and the creating a placeholder generating a document from template uploading and matching document and for ream uh, removing locking and unlocking version excluding and including document that can be uh, achieved and that can be controlled through atomic security so this is one of the good feature uh, which viva is introduced and another is in as to updating last match date edl so expected document list uh, edl is expected document list uh, where the last match time field on edl is no longer refresh if the matching job run without matching or unmatching any document for the specified expected document and this will help uh, to minimize or reduce the number of audit entries logs so this is one of the good feature mm. and also send as link version binding so suppose user are sending uh, any link to the recipient then uh, the version binding feature introduced three options one is latest steady version steady state version and another is latest version another is specific version so what latest steady state version is the that is a default option available uh, for document in a steady state version so major version or steady state version means mostly the doc when the document is approved an effective state so that version can be uh, can be received by the user right and latest version that means that either is either the document will be approved state or in review state or reviewed state what are the situation is uh, user mostly find the latest version if you uh, select the latest version binding option and the another is the specific version so where you can uh, restrict the specific version uh, which can be viewed by the recipient so if you choose the last option right so this is a good feature which we were introduced now document title displayed in binder compact view now in a binder and if you choose a compact view then there you will find document number with title and this is a, one of the good feature so in a compact view within a binder user now have the added visibility of document title alongside document name and number and this align with the presentation in the library detail view and compact view enhancing the overall document viewing experience so this this title field may be named differently with common examples being additional information or description so it doesn't mean that always will be a title in the world that name can be different somewhere in you can see description somewhere you can add additional information so this is uh, one of the good feature 
now download preview for basic signature page template now admin now I have to capability to download previews of basic signature page template this timeline the evolution of changes to this template without the need to apply a new e-signature to test document this preview feature showcase any tokens and translated user friendly levels so one of the screenshot uh, I have added or captured here that you can find now uh, going to the next feature is intelligent document update uh, now in 23 r3 this functionality is uh, ensuring that uniform behavior and minimizing unnecessary or detailed entries now bold now update document only when changes are made before this release what happened uh, when the saving a document without any modification should still update the last modified date and it will uh, un so for that reason unnecessary data uh, will be captured so th which is not needed so it's uh, good for data cleanup uh, process and for users with integration or custom SDK code the previously written excess or unnecessary audited entries that's the uh, uh, good feature yep now uh, the feature which I described so if you find anything you are not understand uh, the feature then please reach out to me and also I'll share the link in the description and uh, I'll try to understand help you to understanding the feature based on my knowledge and thank you uh, for watching my video and stay tuned for the next video bye bye